Welcome back to Squawk Box. It's an apparel company looking to buck the retail trend. Kuyu is a hunting gear and clothing company that's keeping its products out of stores, but it's growing its business solely through word of mouth, social media, and now right here on Squawk Box. Joining us now is Jason Hairston. He's Kuyu's CEO, and he's a former NFL linebacker for the Denver Broncos. We want to talk football with you at some point as well, but just tell us how this happened. This business. <laughs> well, I got into the business because I really couldn't find what I wanted, and that was performance products that would excel in extreme conditions in the mountains, the type of hunting that I was doing. And so in 2005, I created the technical apparel and gear category for hunting and then sold that business to Gore Tex in 2009 and then turned around and took everything that I learned, the shortcomings of selling to big box retail, and built a brand that sold directly to the customers. So now you just go straight over the net? I do, straight to the customers. And I just didn't understand why the customers should be paying on a $100 jacket of my cost, right. $400 at the store. That's how much the markup is when it you is. sell to a big box? It is. So we would produce a $100 jacket, I would sell it to a big box retailer for $200, they'd sell it for $400. And I just didn't understand how that value was justified. So what do you sell a hundred dollar jacket that you build for when you go direct to consumer? So instead of a hundred dollar jacket, I now sell and make a hundred and fifty dollar jacket. So a better product using the finest materials in the world and then I'll sell it to our customers right. for three hundred. So one of the trends though that seems to be going at, at odds with you to some degree is this idea that a lot of these online guys are now trying to do brick and mortar because they think they need to do both. Have you, do you think ultimately you'll have to do that? I don't have to do both because right. we're growing at over 100% a year since launch for over the past four years and we've become really an international brand all through social media and word of mouth marketing because our products are so remarkable. So you don't do get. Google keywords, you don't pay for any of that? We've just started to put that in our budget. But to but date, we're running under a $6 customer acquisition cost, which has never been done on an e-com business before. If you look like a Warby Parker or a Dollar Shave that's doing a similar type of model, right. they're spending $100 to acquire a customer. You know, if, if, this will, if this catches fire, it's not going to be just hunters. Do you want to do that, or do you, do you want it to be like a fashion thing, finally, where people just... People in New York that sure. have never hunted in their life are wearing camouflage. Well, we're starting stuff. to see that already. I bet you are. And then we've also. Is that okay? Our, it's wonderful. <laughs> I mean, there's no reason you have to go through life cold and wet. Right. Right. And we can, because of the business model, I'm working with the, the absolute best materials and best suppliers and best craftsmen at what they do, because I don't have to worry about cost. Right? See, so I, we're I, able I, to take a product that normally would be out of. Uh, a price range for most customers and deliver to a cost essentially as wholesale. See, the manliest thing I do is, is if I play golf at St. Andrews, it's really <laughs> scary and hard and rainy and windy. Uh, there's no animals yeah. chasing me, but I could, you know, I, I need to well, stay warm and dry. And you would. Really? We can keep you warmer and drier and more comfortable. I don't know if and golf... And look cool. Like yeah, and I'll... Like, we'll golfers, golfers look so cool. Golfers look so cool anyway, with the white belts. Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not at all. <laughs> I can see you running a white belt. Yeah, running a white belt. <laughs> Jason, white, thank you. Yeah, Jason, <laughs> while you're here, can we talk football for a second sure. and what happened with the NFL's announcement this week in terms of... I think it's fantastic. You think what's fantastic? That they finally acknowledge CTE is related to, to football. And you broke your neck. I did, and I have the, all the symptoms of CTE, too. I played linebacker, and the way I played the game, I led with my head. I do all the things. I do. I played the way they tell us not to play now. And what they had diagnosed as a concussion, I'd have two or three times in a play. So, Nolan, you think you have CT? I do. I have all the symptoms. What do you What do you do about it? So I'm really proactive about it. I'm in the Boston University study, the Harvard study, and UCSF study. I also work with a neurologist in Southern California that is really active about treating symptoms. And his theory is that we quit producing dopamine with the onset of CTE. Interesting. And dopamine is, is, this, is uh, the lack of it is similar to what causes um, dementia and Alzheimer's, they believe. So he started giving me a prescription that replaces the dopamine. And that was 12 months ago, and it's completely changed my life. In what way? Um, my outlook, my outgoingness. Uh, uh, it's eliminated any type of depression type of feelings that you typically get with right. with uh, the so CTE. What else? Then, is, which drug is it? What else is it? Use? It, 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 oh, it causes the receptor to pick up more dopamine. It produces well, more it dopamine. It gives your brain dopamine. Your it's brain actual dopamine. dopamine. Well, really? it's a, it's 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 a, a dopamine stimulant analog that right? replaces yeah. the dopamine. Are there side effects from that? I not that I've noticed. Other right. than I feel great. No so doubt. What do you think's happened to the game? What do I think's happened to it? What do you think's going to happen to the game? I mean, it, people it's, too, it's too big, it's too popular, there's too much money involved with the NFL for it to, to anything really to significantly happen to it. I mean, people, when you're 19, you're 20, you're 21 years old, you're invincible. But you don't think generationally, 20 years from now, the game's going to be a different, different? It already is changing. And I think can, it can helmets solve the different. problem? Better no, helmets? I don't think so. 
And, and it's really what I, 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 my theory on CTE is not the big hits, it's all the smaller hits that are repetitive on a daily basis. And fortunately, they're pulling the hits out of practice. But when I, when I played, I mean, we were in pads four or five times a week. Right. And full contact for most but of the just, time. But just just trying to, to to stop spearing and head first stuff that's not going to do it if it's on the minor plays where it's, where it's happening. It does, and it, it will help. But it's I don't believe it's just the big hit that causes CTE. I think it's all the repetitive smaller hits. And so now that you think you have this, you know there are a lot of players who obviously brought lawsuits or, yeah. or joined suits against the league. Is mm -hmm. that something you would ever do? I'm involved with. You are the involved. class action piece, but. Um, I'm not independently going out and trying to sue the NFL. Right. There's, they're too big, and I don't have enough resources to go. But 50 that. years from now, you think the NFL is going to be alive and well? Because this is the kind. I of believe it will be. Yeah. Um, I don't know that they can make it safe enough to eliminate that issue and right. problem. But this, you know. But I think you know the amount of money and attention that CT is getting now. I'm hoping the research will lead to some way to deal with it. Right. Right. Um, and then people like myself that are active out working with neurologists to treat the symptoms, and see what that does long term. We'll learn a lot. But guys, and, and the more guys know, you know, exactly what they're getting into, I, I mean, there's they're right. modern-day gladiators to they some are. extent. They are. And, uh, and the hits in the game today are more violent And there's a trade-off, the, the money, the, 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 the lifestyle, the fame, the, I mean, all the stuff that happens. I, I, you know, it's not a perfect world. That's the thing. Right. It's not. It, you got to be free. And I, instead of being all negative, how about the Broncos this year? Amazing. He must, he must have been just I'm so, so psyched. I'm so to see Peyton He must retire. have been so psyched. <laughs> That's, yeah, the, that's the upside of these things. It you know, is. That, you, you know, you get you see things that, that normal life doesn't doesn't give you right. that feeling normally. So nothing there's like a, it. There's an upside yeah. to it. When you it go is. out in that stadium, that right. many people screaming is like, man. Right. We, we got to go, but you invest in the markets too. I try not to. <laughs> <laughs> I invest in myself. So okay. do we. There you yeah. go. Uh, well, you're making it. We appreciate you being here. Congratulations at two amazing careers. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Yeah, we really appreciate you being Thanks here this morning. Me. And good luck with yeah. uh, both the health issues, but also uh, with this uh, with this business. Oh, this is fun. And keep us updated. I will for sure.